Maggie, it's time for you to take care of you. So it's been six weeks, it's officially fall, Woohoo! and we can't wait to show you what the basement looks like now. You are not going to believe your eyes. So we say we head inside and we'll show you what we came up with. When it came to this back area, you need to remember this house has no attic, so we really need to think about how we were going to provide a place for long storage, right? The last time you saw this area, it was jam-packed and a super fire hazard. It was so simple, we cleaned it out, painted the floor put some racks in and then just put all of their stuff in these bins for long storage. Now it's super safe back here because there's no debris around the mechanicals. Wait until you see the office. So John, what do you think of your new office? I'm very excited about it. Good. It's beautiful. I love it, it gives right? It's a place to work, you know? So when it came to the office, we wanted to give John a place where he could showcase all the accolades from the foundation. And to preserve this back wall here where Molly did some doodling and really have his own space for his personal things and some family photos. Oh, and yeah. stuff. This is my, a picture of my mother and father here and my father in the army. But most importantly, here's a picture of Molly. Beautiful. And, and, and this picture is very important because what we discovered, law enforcement needed a photo that showed hair length, eye color, and uh, any other distinctive features. So that's when we sought to have identification kits put out because we didn't have it and we thought that other families would be in the same sort of position as, I mean, we thought of ourselves as good parents, but we never thought about the possibility of this kind of thing happening. So tell me about what's behind your desk here. I see you've got a bunch of mugs, and you also have a letter there. This is from President Bush. We are going to the White House and supported a child identification program. So we're very grateful for that. Well, John, I hope you love your new office. I love it. I'm so glad. At least now you have a place where you can put all your things and relax. And continue to work for the safety of children. Absolutely. I told you, you weren't going to believe the transformation in this room. Now, Maggie and I, we worked our butts off in it, didn't we? We sure did. Isn't it beautiful? It's organized. It's wonderful. Well, we can walk around, check it out. First and foremost, we got order, organization. I have my teaching things in a couple of these cupboards here that I love, my books for my grandkids, my bell that was on the desk, get the tension yeah. still. We have a couple of those. We've, this has become my space, a place for me. After all these years, it's so special that I can look at my family, which is the most important thing to me now, and reflect. But wait, there's one missing, right? My new grandson, uh, Weston. We're waiting for that picture. Uh, we get John. Phone pictures. John, get that picture to Grandma, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, Maggie, one of the most important things down in this basement was a workout area for you and John, right? Especially, yes. So tell me, how's it been going down here? Well, it's just beginning, but we have this wonderful space. That's the first and foremost. Because do you remember what it used to look like before? These things were facing out the window. There was debris everywhere, and you just couldn't get to them. Plus, the air quality was horrible. When we were going through our boxes, right, and we were really going through a lot of your personal stuff, I discovered that Molly was a little bit of a woodworker, mm -hmm. and she made this little shelf, so I just had to hang it in a place of prominence. Perfect. Um, alongside of Molly, who will be watching over us, telling us, get to it, Mom and Dad. Now this area right here really was probably the most difficult for me to convince you, right? Because you wanted this to be John's office. Because John's office was always here and this is where the foundation was run, right? But what did we turn it into? Well, this is Maggie's space. This is with the help of you telling me it's my time. You know, I've taken care of everybody, now it's my turn. And yeah. this little space kind of really signifies that. It's my happy place, Tommy. <laughs> I love it. It's been really fun coming to the Bish house, cleaning up and making their lives a whole lot easier, right? A lot easier. <laughs> but that's not the main reason why we came here. We came here because we need your help. If you have any information about the disappearance and murder of their daughter Molly, call the number at the end of the episode. Maggie, John, it's been our honor getting to know Molly through the memories that you've shared with us. But listen, life can change in an instant, so take care of one another. 
And remember to pay attention out there because sometimes the only protection for you is you. If you have any information about the disappearance or murder of Molly Bish, call our tip line at 508-453-7575. Tell us your story at murdermatters.com.